Tifu has announced that he has retired from Fortnite gaming and content creation in general. He uploaded a 40 minute video and in the video he said something that really hit me. He said that he used to use gaming to escape reality, but now he uses reality to escape work. And that kind of hit me and made me want to talk more about his retirement and where my head is at. Just in general, the impact that Tifu has had in the Fortnite scene and just give you guys a little bit more perspective from a fellow content creator uh, if you're trying to understand what he's actually going through. So back in April, Tifu just stopped streaming altogether and uploading content. Um, and he didn't really say much. And I ended up actually reaching out to him just to check in on him. But then two months later, uh, he drops a 40 minute video basically announcing that he's done. He's retired from streaming, from Fortnite, from content creation and he just wants to live his life. And what's really interesting is that this is the first time I have ever seen Tifu show emotion, like true, real emotion. I've known the guy for a while. I've met him in person plenty of times. He is extremely chill, extremely laid back, unfazed, unbothered by most things in life. And to see him show this much emotion in a video, it really shows just how genuine he feels about this decision and how much pressure has been on him for pretty much his entire life. But why? Because I've seen comments of people saying, hey, like I would take Tifu's position of being a millionaire and playing video games and streaming. And I'm not saying that you're wrong by thinking that. Um, I just think that a lot of people overlook the mental side of being a content creator the main comment I've seen is people saying, well, he's streaming 180 or 190 hours a month. Isn't that just like a full-time job? How is that applying so much pressure to him that he feels like he can't live his life and he needs to step away? Well, as a content creator, I'll tell you this. The time that we spend on stream or in front of a camera is not the only time that we are working. There are things that go on behind the scenes like meetings, sponsorships, travel. There's a lot that goes into it. The biggest part is that you can't just show up to work. You can't just show up to a stream because if you show up with low energy or without focus, your audience will notice. You will quickly fall off. People will start calling you out and it's just going to be a very negative environment that can definitely affect your mental health. So you actually have to show up every single day with a certain amount of energy, charisma, and passion and if you don't have that, things will quickly fall apart. And that is the reason why a lot of esport players and YouTubers retire or they're finished a lot earlier than traditional sport athletes. And I was on a Twitch contract a few years ago that had me streaming, you know, nearly 180 hours. And while at first I thought that was very achievable and easy to do, very quickly I realized with everything else going on, with all the other businesses I'm trying to build and things I'm trying to do, 180 seemed impossible. I started doing marathon streams where I was doing a hundred hour broadcast for the new Fortnite seasons. And while I do like doing those marathon streams, a big part of why I was doing them was to catch up on hours so that I can fulfill my end of the agreements. And I'm not the only streamer that has signed contracts like this. I'm sure Tifu was on a streaming contract and meeting those minimum hours was eventually getting to him to a point where he felt restricted. He felt trapped. I mean, he said it himself in the video. He felt like he was trapped. And the thing is, it's such a competitive space. You have to be in front of the camera a lot. If you step away for a couple of weeks or a month, there is an impact on your numbers. You lose subscribers. People start moving on to the next person. And while some people can establish themselves and you know step away and come back, there is always an opportunity cost when you're not in front of the camera, when you're not creating content. And every content creator knows that. And this hit really hard, especially for me, because Tifu, he, I mean, he's still one of the biggest faces in Fortnite. When he's streaming, he's number one or number two in the directory. And he's had such a huge impact on the entire Fortnite scene. I mean, he was deserving of an icon skin. I honestly thought he was eventually going to get one at the rate he was going. When you think of the faces of Fortnite, people's answer is either Ninja or Tifu. 
their rivalry in OG Fortnite is probably the number one rivalry in gaming, period. He's also one of the best players of all time. He's a World Cup qualifier, a bunch of tournament wins, and he even discovered some of the craziest exploits and mechanics in Fortnite. He started an entire movement in chapter one with the default army. There were so many fake defaults because of Tifu's movements. And not just that, he had a huge impact on the competitive scene itself. He started the default scrims, which is one of the biggest scrim discords. And it spawned in some of the biggest Fortnite pros that are still competing today. I mean, he discovered people like Clicks, Kanata, and a bunch of other Fortnite pros that you guys might know. And you can put him in the arguments of being one of the best Fortnite competitors of all time, especially when you consider how many tournaments he won in chapter one with Fortnite Fridays, the summer skirmishes, Twitch rivals, and even qualifying for the World Cup on 60 ping playing out of Florida. This guy was a competitor, but not just in Fortnite. In everything he did, he was competing. From H1Z1, PUBG, to Warzone and Apex, even until recently, he was doing well in Fortnite Zero Build tournaments and winning like it was nothing. And I think that's how he's going to be remembered, as one of the greatest players of all time. And him stepping away has really had an impact on me. I've been thinking about this a lot because there have been times where I felt trapped like Tifu, times where I just wanted to walk away and live my life. And I actively work towards alleviating some of that. I mean, I have a very supportive team. I have a lot of people helping me now. I'm in a whole studio. And a big part of that is to prevent me from burning out. You guys remember when I was gaining a lot of weight playing and streaming Fortnite, my health was out the window. I, I had health problems because of that. And I felt like giving up. I had no motivation to continue. Um, so I took some very serious steps towards uh, alleviating these problems and allowing myself to continue doing this. Because at the end of the day, I love streaming. I love creating content. I still do. And I want to do this for a very long time. But I understand that if I'm not careful and if I'm not managing my time and if I'm not allowing myself to live some of my life off camera, then I will burn out and I will want to quit and I'll be done for good. And we've seen a lot of creators step away recently. Mr. Fresh Asian, Lachlan, Laserbeam, PewDiePie, a lot of them are either uploading less or just completely stepping away from content creation. And it's a common theme because this job, this career, it's still also new. And a lot of us are still figuring things out on how to manage it and how to deal with the mental load and even the physical load of being on screen, creating content and having millions of people depending on that content or looking forward to it. But don't worry, I am feeling a lot better than I did a year or two ago. I've come a long way, so I'm still gonna be around for a while, hopefully. And I wanna send a message out to Tifu. I mean, he has been a huge inspiration in the Fortnite space for a lot of people. He's a friend to me, a fellow content creator, and I very much respect his decision because I know it had to be extremely difficult to step away from all of this and allow yourself to breathe and live life. And Tfue, if you see this, I'm wishing you the best. And I know wherever you'll be, if you're on some island in the middle of the ocean, I know you're gonna be happy. So I'm happy for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.